I still see a lot of JavaScript code samples on the web of people using for loops to iterate arrays. I never really do this anymore, and in this Tuesday tip, I'll tell you why you shouldn't either, and I'll show you what the alternative is. First, I just want to make a quick apology to my regular subscribers. Um, I was due to release a video on Monday, as per usual. It was going to be on um, React unit testing with Jest and Enzyme. Unfortunately, I got about two thirds of the way through the video on Sunday night, and then my screencasting software completely shafted me. And when I tried to save, all the files were corrupted. So now I've got to reshoot that and I hope to have that with you by Wednesday. So anyway, back to the topic at hand. Here we have an array of names, and for some reason, maybe we got this from user input or something, but for some reason, the list is poorly formatted. We have space at the end of some, others don't, some have a last name, and others don't. To clean it up, you want to transform this into a list of first names with no white space in alphabetical order while still keeping the original array intact for whatever reason. So to achieve this, I've written this for loop here. So first we create a new array, we iterate over the original array and fill the new array with the result of calling trim on the value. Trim just removes white space from the end of a string and splitting on any white space and returning the first element of the result. So this will give us just the first name, no white space. We then create a second new array and fill it with the result of sorting the first into alphabetical order. So now let's just run this in the console and see the result. And so there we now have the list of names, first names only, no white space, and in alphabetical order. This does work, and it's not completely horrific or anything like that, but I still think it's not great. It involves temporary variables being created, which make the code, in my opinion, harder to follow. A for loop is also a block rather than an expression, which means it can't be assigned to something or passed as an argument to a function. I'll show you why this is a disadvantage later. So what's the alternative? There are a number of functions on the array object that allow for iteration. Today I'm going to show you the most appropriate for the task, and that is map. So let's rewrite the for loop as a map. So we're going to have a sorted names variable and assign it the result of doing names.map. Then the argument to this is a function and we will use an arrow function. It takes an argument, we will call it name. It then returns the result of doing the trim and the split on name. Then we use function chaining to call the sort right on the result of the map. Very neat. We run it and we get the result we wanted. So how does this work? In a nutshell, map transforms every element in an array using a transformation function with the result being a new function of the transformed values. In more detail, map iterates over every item in the array. On each iteration, it passes the current item to the function we pass to map. That's this arrow function here. It then takes the return value from the arrow function and adds it to the new array which map returns. Since the function returns an array, we can treat the results as an array and just call sort on it straight away using function chaining. It's a lot cleaner and a lot more self-contained than a for loop, and the fact that it's an expression is also great. I'll explain why with some React code. So I'm just gonna use React here just to prove a point, but this is really applicable beyond React. Um, so I have an array of strings in suggestions, like you can see, and I want each item in the array to become a list element. Instead of iterating with a for and building up a new array of li's and then rendering them, because map can be used as an expression, well, it is an expression, I just embed the map which transforms the array of strings to li elements right within my JSX code within a ul. And you could not do that with a for loop. This may seem like a small thing, 
but I found in coding lots of small positive changes soon add up to much better code. I have new videos going out regular as clockwork every Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday at 9am Eastern Time. Click that subscribe button now and don't miss them.